Welcome back to Chef Dog. Hey, this is Chef Dog Uncut. I'm gonna just show you a little secret. Oh, hey, here's my mom making some yeah. homemade gravy uh, for my dad, because my dad is, is a gluten-free. Yeah. So we wanted to show you how we make our gravy for gluten-free people. And I wanted you to learn from the master. Yeah. And then I was gonna also show a, near, a real easy way to strain your potatoes when you're making mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. So talk to them, let them know kind of what you're doing here. We've got, the, we've got the juice from the roast that we've strained out and put in here, right? So there's the juice. Now she's got her cornstarch. Now you tell the rest. It's really easy. I use uh, um, that bouillon better than bouillon. So better than bouillon. That's the beef. I use beef or I use chicken. But, um, and then just use cornstarch. And then cornstarch. So that's gluten-free. Yeah. So gluten-free gravy. You use the juice from your roast. And it is the best. Like I want to drink it after she's done making it. He always takes it home for rice. I do. I'll bring it home and then I'll make minute rice with it and have it for lunch. Okay. So that's how she does it. She's thickening it up right here and then she'll pour it in here. Bring come in a little closer. She'll pour it in here and then just keep testing the thickness until you know until you have it the way you want it. Yeah. Okay. And the taste. Yeah, and then the taste. Do you put anything else in it, or is that just well, it? Well, if I don't like it, then I'll put more, se some, just some seasoning. Like, like what? onion, something like oh. that. Generally, and this is this all you roast, do, yeah. right? Yeah. But then this roast, I think it's got onion in it, so. Yeah, see, come here, watch. See how she's dumping that in there? Yeah, this is really hard. How much did you put in there about? How no, much did you, two, would you say? Like two heaping tablespoons, but I'll probably have to put more in, because. Because we got a lot of juice. Yeah. Okay, so then she sits there, she keeps that on like a medium low. Yeah. And then she'll just sit and stir it until it thickens up. And then you just keep adding more, is that what you do? Yeah. Just okay. more more cornstarch. And then maybe more bouillon if it doesn't taste um, good enough. You if know. you want a little bit more flavor. Yeah. So it depends obviously on how much juice you have and then what you're going to use. but. That's basically how she does it. And this is the best gravy on the planet for using the juice from your roast and it's gluten free. Hey, wow. okay, what do you think? She's now sampling it some. It needs some more of this. Better than bouillon. Oh, this is the more. best stuff. So how much more are you gonna put in now? Like the other tablespoon. Oh, and then she just mixes it in to the juice. Yeah. All right, because normally I put it in a separate cup with a little water and mix it into that. Oh, you do? I do. Yeah. You don't need to. Oh, but you that's don't just, need to. That's just more work. That's just more work. That's what the chef dog would do, but mama chef, she doesn't. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back. We got a little we're gonna put a little bit more cornstarch in it, but ooh, it's just about there. You can see that you know, still a little too runny. We want it to be a little yeah. thicker. But we'll we'll add a little bit more, but it tastes good. I think we're good. Is it strong? Is it yeah, it'll, it'll be there. Okay. okay. Well, I think that's enough for chef dog uncut. Thanks for watching, and I'm glad to have my mom on here with me. Love you. Bye-bye.